Hey, what's up? I'm gonna be just looking through my Xbox game collection. Hopefully, for ASMR triggers. But if not, who cares? So let's get started. So I have FIFA. This is actually not even mine. This is my friend's game. But he doesn't really play Xbox anymore. I only stole it from him. This video is going to be a lot of the same tapping sounds. When they say tapping on game cases. But I think that sounds pretty good, so hopefully it turns out. Probably my favorite game ever, which is Portal 2. It's a very fun game. Valve is great at making games. Battlefield 3, I got this because it was pretty cheap, I bought it recently, well, a couple months ago, and it's a couple years old, so, still a good game, I think this is like two games ago, there's two since this one, still a good game, good realistic first person shooter, way more realistic than the Call of Duty games. They both have their drawbacks. Alright, I guess I'll go into NHL. This one is 07, because if you can read that, it costs 89 cents. I actually bought two of these, and that's all GameStop had, because I wanted a, an NHL game that me and my friend could play together. And it was super cheap. It was less than $2 for two, to, for two video games, which is crazy. This game is <coughs> not very good, it's very old, but it's still an NHL game. I'm a very big NHL fan, so I enjoyed that. I'm pretty... No, this game, this disc works, but this is my friend's disc because my disc stopped working. Then I have another very good game, which is Borderlands 2. I also have the first Borderlands. I have not really played the first Borderlands yet. I have the disc if I want to. But it takes a lot of time. Plus I've only played Borderlands 2, which is great. That's an amazing, amazing storyline. Pretty good gameplay. Very fun. Forza Horizon, which is the first of two games so far. I'm not sure if they're making a third one. But this is a fun game because I'm not the type of person to just drive around on a track like in the first like five or six Forza games. But then they made Horizon, which is more open world than just driving on a track, which I enjoyed. It's a fun game. Lots of different cars. Lots of different customizations. Then I have The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Which is an amazing game. Bethesda is very good at making video games. 
could take a long time to play. And this is one of them. This game, if you don't know, is set in medieval times, really. And you have to fight... Well, you can fight enemies, you can fight dragons, you can fight, like, raiders and stuff. But you can also fight, like, guards and policemen and stuff, which is not really how you're supposed to play. But if you do, if you do something, you're not supposed to, then they'll come after you. And then I have all of my Call of Duty games, which there's a lot of them. And these discs is not even all of them I own. Uh, at least two on digital download. So I got this way after it came out, obviously, because this is a good game. And I really enjoyed the first Black Ops, which I have right there. And <coughs> my friends would always play this, but I was still playing the first Black Ops because I was a cheapskate and didn't want to buy the new one. But then they finally convinced me to buy this one to play with them, and it was totally worth it. It's so good. It's a great continuation of this game, if you like this game. I understand a lot of people don't like Call of Duty, so don't judge me for liking it. Um, but I enjoyed this one. This is one of the better Call of Duty games. Um, Modern Warfare 3, it's not bad. I don't like it as much as the Black Ops series, but this is not bad. I haven't played this one too much. I, I bought this very recently, past couple months, to complete the story and get some achievements. Um, but I don't think I've done too much of that yet. And then I have the first Black Ops, which I played so much of. I wasted so much of my life in this game, and it was all worth it. Because I was, I had so much enjoyment from it. Um, this is one of my most favorite Call of Duty games, but I spent so much time in this game. I probably did at least 12 days of gameplay, probably more. Now that I'm saying that, it doesn't sound like a whole lot to me. But Modern Warfare 2 is better than Modern Warfare 3 and not as good as Modern Warfare, the first one. Still a good game. I, I played this game a lot when it first came out, and then I got rid of it, and I got this again recently for achievements, just like Modern Warfare 3. But it's still a good game. Uh, I don't think this has a uh, campaign co-op. And I have Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, which is the predecessor to Modern Warfare 2. And this is... Many people refer to this as the best Call of Duty game ever. The original Call of Duty game, even though it's the fourth one. This is the first one that really introduced online play. I, there might have been online play in Call of Duty 3. Actually, I guarantee there was. Uh, but this game really brought it to what it is today, <coughs> originally. And a lot of people, the reason a lot of people don't like Call of Duty is because they strayed away from what they did in this game. But this is a great game. Um, it's not my favorite. My favorite is World at War, which I don't have the box of. I have that on digital download. But uh, this is my second favorite. This is a very good game. <coughs> and then I have Grand Theft Auto V, which is a game where you can make a whole lot of your time in. It's an open world game, and it is humongous, and it has a lot of uh, a lot of missions, mission time, but also uh, you could spend just as much, probably like double or triple the amount of time you spend on missions just going around in the game. And uh, it's a great game to just play and have fun with. I also have this game for Xbox One. Now I just uh, I got that digital download again, so I don't have the disc. And then I have this Fallout 3 download code, uh, which I haven't used yet because I don't know if I'm going to 
play it or not because it's only 1660 and I've been playing Xbox One recently but this came with uh, Fallout 4 which uh, is is my newest game and it's a great game and I've already beaten it well it's a, it's a couple months old now probably two months old but this game like Skyrim is made by Bethesda if you didn't know and it's a similar style it's missions and it's open world uh, but it's set in the future and it's post-apocalyptic obviously as you can tell from the word fallout you're living in the aftermath of a nuclear explosion so that's the basic game it's very fun and I like it that's all that really matters and then I have so that is the most recent game that I own but this game is the newest one that I have gotten and this is Destiny with the expansions and with the Taken King and I have not played really any of this yet I've played like one mission maybe two but uh, I've heard very good things about this and I'm excited to play it so hopefully cheap game I got to get achievements in. This is Destiny 2 Quantum of Solace. And it's not a bad game. It's just like I think it's pretty new. I don't know what year this was made, but it's kind of it's got that like old video game style that doesn't have as high production values. But it's not a bad game. It's good for achievements. It's got a lot of easy achievements. And then I have uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, which I also got cheap for achievements, and I've only played a couple of missions. Uh, this is Game of the Year edition, so obviously a lot of people like it. I didn't really get into it too much. I'm sure I could if I played more, but there was just other games I wanted to play, and I haven't done too much in this. But um, from what I can tell, it follows the story of the Joker, and... You just you you play as Batman, you fight the Joker. So what it is, it's kind of like the movies. Uh, so yeah, that's my video. Uh, well, that's most of my Xbox video game collection. I have other ones that I didn't show because they're not as popular and I don't care about them as much. This is most of them. I also have some digital downloads that I obviously can't tap on or show. But uh, this is most of them. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.